Hey, look, we're rolling. All right, come on, baby. Okay. I'm ready. Plane. Avistrum to me. Um, I would say, first and foremost, Avistrum is probably my creative outlet. Avistrum to me is a, it's a community, it's a family. I can give you the textbook sort of answer about stuff and say, oh, Avistrum is, is this magical castle and it's this magical place for everybody to be able to come and, 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 and pretend and, and you know, enjoy themselves. But Avistrum is a home. And not a home for old folks. Okay, so <laughs> by definition, it's a Harry Potter world of awesome. Definitely awesome. To me, Avastrum is kind of like kind of like my kid. <laughs> Avastrum for me was a very fun creative outlet. Is what it was. I had the opportunity to work with friends, not just you know just colleagues like you, you gotta when you have a job you go to work and you, you don't get to choose those people you get to work with well Avastrum for me was the place to stretch my you know acting legs and stretch my creative legs and my performing legs and uh, I love I love doing the acting and the the writing and the directing and all of that I I went to school for acting and didn't didn't do much with it after college. I think I was in one play down here before I got into Avastrum. And so that's been that has been my my acting outlet and being able to pour my my theater being into that is is through that. So number one, it's probably my my creative outlet. Or before Avastrum there wasn't a really huge outlet for that. Uh, and so it really is kind of a home for wayward magical spirits to come together and get to explore that world and just play and at the same time be able to entertain other people kids and, and their families and yeah it's just a magical home where those of us that are within Avastrum are able to open up and make a world to our liking for others to enjoy and then fill it with our dreams and our uh, thoughts and ideas and, and, and just generally have a lot of fun with it. Um, it's not the world of Harry Potter. It's, uh, it's grown, grown so much more beyond that. It's its, it's, its own world now and it is our world and it's, it's a world that was very easy to escape to. It's a really logical next step for the world that J.K. Rowling created. Um, I'm actually shocked that we haven't seen, you know, Durmstrang or anything like that. Any of those other pieces of her world pop up, at, at least not that I've heard of in such a, a prominent fashion. Um, and it's it's another way to engage the the kids who are fans. I'm not even just kids. Anybody who's a fan of that that world that she created. It's a way to engage them and immerse them a little bit more completely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, actually make them a part of it. Um, I mean, so many of the, the people we work with uh, and the clients that we have coming in to, to see the shows, they've grown up with those books. And I look at this as a, almost like a service that's not being provided elsewhere. And, you know, we're, we're the kind of the one-stop shop to take them to that next level and, and keep the experience going for them, especially now that the books are over. Mm -hmm. That history, the American history, is such a short time that we've been a nation. I mean, we, we haven't been a nation much more than, you know, 200 years. So that being said, uh, there's not a whole lot of history that we can pull from that uh, rallying on her side, she was able to pull from uh, a lot of history throughout uh, Europe. And they, a lot of those myths and legends and folklore, and you know, you got thousands, thousands of years, and this is, you know, one of the first civilizations of man, you know, as far as the continent, right? And over here in, in North America, there's not a whole lot of legend. Where it is now, 
it has become something that is so special to so many people, a creative endeavor where the, the imagination can thrive for so many different people, and it's because it's to me it is something that is it's very it's special to my heart because of what it's not not only done for the people that we entertain but for the the people who contribute so much and they make it a part of their lives